Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna make a burst animation in Adobe After Effects. But in order to create the burst, I'm first gonna make a circle full of lines in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start by doing that. You can first create a circle. Right now I'm holding Alt and Shift so it scales from the center. And that way you can create a nice size. Now let's create a line. Again hold shift to get a straight line. And we actually don't have to start from the center of the circle so hit A. Now click on the anchor point in the center. Hold shift and arrow up once, maybe twice, and now hit R on your keyboard. Now the rotate tool pops up, and you can see this blue anchor point, and we're going to drag it to the center. So, and now when you hold Alt and click on it, you see a few dots next to the cursor. So that's good. Click it again. And now you can actually rotate the line we just created. So 20 degrees is fine, but instead of pressing OK, you have to click on Copy. And as you can see now, our line has been copied. Now hit Command D, and as you can see, it will just copy the line around the center. So there's our nice little pie. And since we won't be needing the outer circle, we can just delete that. And now select all these lines, hit Command C. And now we can go to After Effects. I've already created a new composition. Right click, New, New Shape Layer. Now hit Command V. And as you can see, there are all the lines we created in Illustrator, but they have now turned into mosques. Now what you want to do is go to Effects, go to Generate, click on Stroke, and select a thickness you like. And there's our nice little burst. Now open the effects panel. And all we really need is the start and end part. As you can see, the end is already at 100%. So once you turn this down, you will see the lines animating but they will animate separately and we want them to animate together. So what you have to do is click on stroke sequentially or at least turn it off. And now they will animate all together. Okay, so let's start by creating a keyframe for the end. Click it. to zero Ooh, that's rather quick so as you can see there's our start of our little burst but we also want it to disappear again so I'll create a keyframe for start and when the ant ants <laughs> We have to create another keyframe for start and put it to 100%. And there's our little burst. Very simple, very cool. You can always play around with this, of course. And you can also change the brush size while it animates. So 
So maybe start a little thinner. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty cool. Ooh. You can always, you know, play around with the keyframe settings. Easy ease. Of course, you can also use the Ease and Wiz plugin. It's free, I think. See what happens when I apply that. Then it starts out slow and goes faster at the end. Whew. So that's pretty much it. Of course, you can make tons of variations with the same effect. Um, Right now it's a circle, but you can also do this with squares, or maybe you want a burst around a title, stuff like that. Be creative with it, and um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.